Hello gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about how to use a depth chart glitch to get cornerbacks at linebacker in formations such as 3-4 odd and 4-3 even 6-1. Now let me preface this video by saying this tactic that I'm going to show you is for mutts. I have no idea if this is possible in CFM. If you do know how, please let me know it in the comment section so you can help everybody out because I don't play CFM. I also don't know if you can manipulate the depth chart like that in CFM. I know for sure in regs head to head, if that's all you play, this really isn't going to be an option for you, but definitely watch the video if you're in a CFM, it might give you ideas on how to do it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so bear with me, this is gonna be a little bit of a process, it won't take that long, but you do need to pay attention because this is very detailed and specific in order for this to work properly. So what I recommend doing is go all the way to the right to your lineup tools and then going to change active lineup. And then I recommend hitting wire triangle to create a new lineup. It'll separate it from your you know, normal lineup as well as just make your life a little bit easier in regards to just putting players into the empty positions as opposed to removing players and putting them back in. Yes, you have to put your offense back in as well, but this will make your life a little bit easier to get this to work. So what you're gonna see is an empty lineup. I personally have put everybody into the proper positions already and I really don't wanna start over. So I'm just gonna explain each position. So make sure you pay attention to where I have you guys. So the first step is put defensive ends at your outside linebacker positions. We have a right end here and we have a left end here. It doesn't matter, you can put a right end here and then vice versa, do like a left end over here. That part doesn't matter. These guys are not starters. They're not going to really see the field. So put whoever there, it doesn't matter too much. Next, we have our defensive line. This part's really simple. You're just gonna put the guys in where you want them on the field. So Aaron Donald is my starting right end, so I'm gonna put him there. Dexter Lawrence is my starting nose tackle, put him there. You do need to have a backup defensive tackle that is required, don't have more than two. And then for your left end, put your starting left end. I have Micah Parsons. Next up, we have our middle linebackers, and these are going to be your starting outside linebackers in three, four odd. So what you're gonna do is just put your two starters here. I have DeMarcus Ware and Joey Bosa. I don't have a good second option because I don't use 3-4 odd, so kind of disregard how bad these cars are. Just put your starters there. You cannot have backups. You cannot have middle linebacker 3. You cannot have middle linebacker 4. If you put any guys into these positions, it'll mess up the thing entirely, and you won't have cornerbacks at linebacker. Next, we have our secondary, and this is where it goes wrong for a lot of people because there's certain things you need to pay attention to. So first of all, the free safety is very easy. Just put your starter there, no backup, and then put your starter at strong safety as well with no backup. Now for your cornerbacks, this is where it's pretty important. The whole trick to getting this depth chart glitch to work is to have your highest overall player at cornerback. That is extremely important. The reason that a lot of people get receiver as their middle linebacker when they try this depth chart glitch is because oftentimes they're the highest overalls on their team. So you see Calvin Johnson has 88, but we have Charles Woodson at 89. We do that by having a strategy on defense to give him plus two man coverage. That's my kind of workaround to get Charles Woodson to an 89. Now I don't have another cornerback on my team that is an 88 overall boosted to an 89. So I'm personally only gonna get one cornerback at middle linebacker. And if you want two, then you will need to have your two highest overall players playing at your cornerback three and your cornerback four. So I'm gonna repeat this one more time because it is the most important part of the video. Your two highest overall players on your entire team should be your cornerback three and your cornerback four. For me personally, I only have 189. So he's gonna be the only one playing middle linebacker. If you want two of them, your two highest players need to be at cornerback three and cornerback four. Now for your other cornerback positions, it doesn't really matter. Just You want your four best guys, of course, at cornerback. We're just gonna reorder our depth chart in a second. So just put your four best cornerbacks. Just have your first best here, second best here, third best at cornerback one, and then your fourth best at cornerback two. And then the last part of the depth chart before we move to practice mode is you need to go to your specialist and go to sub linebacker and just make sure both of these guys are safeties. You cannot have middle linebackers here. That'll just ruin the thing completely. And then if you generated a new lineup, you're gonna have to of course fill in all of your empty spaces and all that kind of stuff. 
but let's go ahead and move to practice mode and show you how it works. Okay, so we're now in practice mode, and if you look at our 3-4 odd, you're gonna see that there's nothing special about it. We just have everybody kind of in the position that we put them in. So we have like Joey Bosa at middle linebacker, we have DeMarcus Ware at middle linebacker, and obviously that's not what we want. We want cornerbacks here. So the last step of this is just go to your coaching, and when you start a game, this is what you're always gonna do. You're gonna pause the game, go to coaching, depth chart, and then hit Y or triangle to auto reorder, and that's it. For me personally, if I look at 3-4 odd, nothing's changed about it. I have to use packages. I don't really know why that's the case. If you know why, let me know in the comment section. So I have to use packages, right stick to the right. Now, if you look at my left middle linebacker position, I have Marcus Peters there. I also don't know why it's Marcus Peters and not Charles Woodson. So if you know the answer to that, please let me know. Um, but again, I only have one cornerback at middle linebacker instead of two because my two highest guys on the team are not cornerbacks. Only one of them is. So if you do want both positions, again, your two highest overall players need to be at cornerback. So three, four odd, go to pinch buck zero. Then if you just look, we now have Marcus Peters at middle linebacker. And this is exactly what you want because if you don't want to use lurk artist or something or lurker at middle linebacker and use AP on that, you can get cornerbacks or safeties and you can animate on the ball for free for no AP. And that's a big deal because three, four odd becomes, you know, a viable formation when you get cornerbacks here at this middle linebacker position. Anyways, that's going to be it for the depth chart glitch. If you guys have any problems whatsoever, please let me know in the comment section. If you guys want a faster response, you can always join my discord. The link to that is in the description. Just click that it's free to join and I'll definitely answer a little bit quicker. Hopefully you guys enjoy the depth chart glitch and start getting stops on defense because it's really hard right now. And using a formation like 3-4 odd with cornerbacks at middle linebacker can definitely improve your chances at stopping your opponent. So hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe for more Madden 24 content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.